The average rate of a reaction can be calculated over different time intervals for chemical reactions. This shows us that the rate of a reaction will decrease over time as the reactants are being used up as they change into products. In the front page of your data booklet, you will see that you have been given the average rate calculation, which is average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. So let's have a go at calculating the average rate of a reaction when given a table of results. The first example, we're going to be given the time interval between 0 and 10 seconds. First thing that we have to write down is our formula, which is average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. We then have to substitute the values which are given in the question. So we've got average rate. The time interval we've been given that we have to look at in the table is 0 and 10. We always take small numbers away from big numbers, so we'll write 10 minus 0. We then have to look at the quantity for that time interval, and we can see that we're given 0 and 12. We always start with a big number, 12 minus 0, and that correct substitution gives us one mark. We then use our calculator, and if we were to do the top line, 12 minus 0 gives us 12, 10 minus 0 gives us 10, and when we pop that into the calculator, 12 divided by 10 gives us 1.2, which gives us our second mark. The third mark in this calculation is to make sure that we can give the correct units. So again, we use the equation average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. What quantity have we been given in the table of results? We can see that we are working in centimetres cubed and for time we're working in seconds. So if we were to rewrite that, we would write that as centimetres cubed s to the minus 1. So let's have a go at calculating the average rate of reaction between 10 and 20 seconds. First thing that we write down is our formula, which is average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. We then have to do the correct substitution. So we look at our time interval that we've been given, which is 10 and 20. And we always write the big number first, so we write 20 minus 10. We then look at the quantity given for that time interval. We write the big number first, so we'll write 21 minus 12. This gives us one mark for correct substitution. Our calculation, 21 minus 12 would give us 9. 20 minus 10 would give us 10. And we pop that into the calculator. 9 divided by 10 gives us 0 0.9, which gives us our second mark. We then want to go on to do the units. Remember, we write out the formula. Average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. What unit are we working for for our quantity? It's centimetres cubed. And for our time, it is seconds. So rearranging that to get our units, we would write centimetres cubed s to the minus 1, which gives us our third mark. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at uh, calculating the average rate of reaction for the following intervals, once you're ready, if you press resume, the answers will pop up on the screen. So what we can see from the results is that the average rate of reaction decreases as time goes on. And this is because the reactants are being used up. This past paper question is from the National 5 2019 Multiple Choice 1 and 2. Questions 1 and 2 refer to an experiment to investigate the rate of a reaction. And the volume of gas collected in two minutes was five centimetres cubed. Question number one asks you what is the average rate of reaction? We have to write out our formula. Average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. We substitute the values in. The time interval we were given was two minutes and the quantity was five. When we put that into our calculator, five divided by two gives us 2.5. So the correct answer to this multiple choice is multiple choice answer C. The second part wants us to calculate the unit for the average rate of reaction. Again, we write out the formula. Average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. 
the quantity was centimetres cubed, but this time the minutes, uh, the time was minutes. And when we rearrange that, that would be written as centimetres cubed min to the minus one. So the correct answer to the multiple choice answer two is B. This past paper questions from the National 5 2018 written 1B part one. The student obtained the results shown. Calculate the average rate of reaction between 20 and 50 seconds. Your answer must include the appropriate unit. You have to show your working clearly. First thing that we have to do is write out the formula. Average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. We then have to substitute. So our time intervals we've been given in the question is 20 and 50. So we always write the big number first. So we write 50 minus 20. If we look at the quantity given for those time intervals, we always want to write the big number first. So we write 77 minus 62. That gets us one mark for our correct substitution. We then have to do our calculation. 77 minus 62 gives us 15. 50 minus 20 gives us 30. And when we pop that into the calculator, 15 divided by 30 gives us 0 0.5, which gives us our second mark. The third mark is for the appropriate units. We'll write our average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. The quantity given in the question is centimetres cubed. The time interval is seconds. So our unit would be centimetres cubed s to the minus 1. This past paper questions from the National 5 2015 written 1B part 1. Calculate the average rate of reaction between 60 and 90 seconds. Your answer must include the appropriate unit and you must show your working clearly. First thing we write down is the formula. Average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. We then have to substitute. The time intervals we've been given is 60 and 90. We always write the big number first, 90 minus 60. For that time interval, we have to look at the quantity given. We always write the big number first, so we write 120 minus 96. That gets us one mark for our correct substitution. We then do our calculation. 120 minus 96 gives us 24. 90 minus 60 gives us 30. And when we pop that into the calculator, 24 divided by 30 gives us 0 0.8, which gives us our second mark. The last mark is for the appropriate units. We write out our formula, average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. The quantity in this case is measured in centimetres cubed and our time is seconds. So we can rewrite that as centimetres cubed s to the minus one.